This is just the best of both worlds, and I just, I love, I love, I love it. Now let's get into the straight. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming about the Steam Pod number two. What would you say? It's a cross between your normal hair straightener and a steamer. I paid $299 Australian from the website called Look Fantastic um, and it is amazing. Like this has been a complete game changer. My hair is healthier. When it rains, I don't have to worry about, I don't know, fuzz. It's just, it's amazing. So, so I'm just looking on the L'Oreal website just to get a better description of how it works and, you know, the benefits. So from what I can see here, it says, unique design allows steam to pass through your hair during styling, which maintains hydration. That's important. Smooths and minimizes damage, which is really important to me. So, so I've got quite frizzy hair. Due to my nationality, I've got quite frizzy hair. So the minute any sort of humidity hits, I am just fuzzball. So the fact that it's using steam to straighten, it just locks in the hydration. So I remember the very first day that I ever used the steam pod was on a pouring down <laughs> rainy day and I had to walk from the car park all the way into work and with an umbrella and my hair was like, I was, I was shocked. So for someone who's got afro hair, like frizzy, I don't know if you can see, like just how fuzzy it is to the smooth it even feels healthy so it doesn't feel like you know when you use that normal like your hair straightener like a, I don't know, a ghd or something you know your hair can feel quite dry and stiff my hair can finally move like normal flowing hair it's just so nice just anyway make straightening quick and easy very true styling faster than traditional straighteners and creating less damage i have personally found that to be 100. So this is the important part, the how to use part. So use on dry hair, which I love. So what I like to do is I like to wash my hair at night, plait it, and then when I wake up, I just undo my plaits when my hair is dry and then, you know, straighten it. Least, use the least number of passes needed to smooth section. Well, that's just a given. You don't want to go over your hair a million times. Continue until the entire head is locked in and smooth out for a sleek, silky finish. But honestly, all I can say, it's completely replaced my Dyson, my $500 Dyson hair dryer. It's replaced my GHD hair straightener, which I spent, I don't know, I've had it for years now. This is just the best of both worlds, and I just, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now let's get into the straightening. So, I'm going to do the one thing that I dread, which is to brush my hair. If I can avoid it at all times, I will. <laughs> Oh, child. Woo! I've got a sensitive scalp. I hate this part. <laughs> it's quite frizzy. Um, but at least there is no tangles. Let's see. You can hear it working. Oh, I should mention that it's got like, so you can see where the steam comes out, those little holes there, and then it's got a brush, and that is what creates the tension in the hair, so when you're passing the hair through, that's how you get that lovely straight effect. That can actually come out, so if you don't want it there, you can take it out. I personally like it, because it gives me a better straightening effect. Okay. Look, you can see just how... Nice and straight. I wish you could feel my hair. It's so soft. Whereas normally when I straighten my hair with a normal GHD hair straightener or even the blow dryer, it's definitely not, it's definitely not smooth and soft. I like to run the hairbrush through just because it makes it easier for the ends. Good girl. My ends. I always like to go around the back because I notice when I divide my hair in two, I find that the front's really couldn't and then the back is, you can tell I've missed it. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I hate that when that happens. I think it's time to get my ends trimmed. Ugh. What I was just doing then was because at the very root of my hair, my hair is actually quite thick, like it's quite frizzy, um, and it just I find just around the root of my hair it just needs a bit more compared to my ends because I've actually got a different hair texture just at the crown there. It's um, a bit more uh, kinky, coarser. I have to say, honestly, with this particular steam pod or the, the steam pod, as far as length of time so much quicker honestly honestly compared to the hair blow dryer when i used to have to blow dry my hair that took about an hour for real about an hour when i use the steam pod it only takes me quite honestly half an hour maybe 35 minutes depending if i'm being distracted so this thing is, has been a game changer for me Can you hear that pigeon in the background? If you can, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a pigeon that's decided that it's gonna go right outside my window. If it starts up again, I'll have to send my husband out to go and shoo it. Shoo it away. Me trying to figure out where my fringe starts and ends. Goodness me. Goodness me. You don't have to twist it like I do, that's just what I like because I like a little twirl at the end. So there we are. The only thing that I like to do is I always like to get just this little back section because let's face it, I'm not very accurate when it comes to getting right to the roots so I always like to get this little section because as I said before my hair is a different texture just here it's a bit more kinkier and that's all I like to do honestly this is the best device I've ever bought for my hair like and I'm not oh I'm not sponsored this is I paid with my own money for this I've had it for about a year now and before I even bought the steam pod myself I actually did about three months worth of research just watching everybody else's YouTube video reading the reviews online I yeah it hasn't let me down so. now as far as the actual parts um, so, I've got this the head then you've got the actual part where the steam so this is where the water you put the water in so, it doesn't actually use a lot of water and that just clips onto this part. And also it's got little suction caps so that when you're pulling on it, it doesn't, doesn't move. And that just clips onto that. Yeah, pros and cons. Now, if I had my way, I'd say there's no cons because I love it that much. But if I had to be picky and a con is that it's not travel friendly because it is bulky, right? The only other con I would say, it's not as easy to get to the scalp as it is your GHD because it is so bulky it's not it's not as thin so you can't get all the way to your scalp as easy I personally don't have a problem with it I really don't um, but if you're looking if you've got really really I don't know I guess baby fine hairs here and you're trying to get to it yes yeah, like it's not as easy and okay one other con is that you have to use it a particular way so you see those little arrows you have to actually have that facing down so you can't have it this way you have to have it this way because this has got to the steam essentially you don't want that steam those little holes there to touch your head so that admittedly took a little bit of getting used to when I first got the steam pod too um, but other than that it's so worth it I mean at the end of the day if you can't get right to the you know the skinniest scalp 
I'm not mad about it, me personally. Um, as far as taking it to travel, to be honest, eh, like, I'd still take it with me, I don't care how big it is. Um, and thirdly, the only, I guess, yes, is that you have to learn how to use it. Um, but other than that, it's amazing. I mean, my hair, people ask me all the time, like, wow, your hair, how did you, you know, like, what do you use? Do you use a steam pot? Oh, sorry, do you, you know, does it take you hours to straighten your hair? And, you know, and they're so surprised when they feel it and how healthy it is. Or on a rainy day or on a humid day, they're like, how is your hair still, you know, not a fuzzball like mine? You know, have you got mountains of hairspray? And I said, to be honest, no, um, it's the steam pot. And actually, People have bought it because I've, you know, they, they're just so shocked because when they've seen my hair in its natural state, which you saw earlier, to, to then how beautiful and straight and healthy, and this can last me all week, truly. I don't, I don't touch it up. Like, I really don't. I'm very happy. So, should you get it? Has it got my tick of, you know, approval, my seal of approval? 100%. 100%. Um, I actually first heard of it on the news. I think it was Channel 7, whatever. Um... And then that's what intrigued me because I was all about the Dyson. I wanted to get the Dyson, I wanted to get the Dyson. I ended up getting the Dyson, but I still really wanted to try the Steam Pod. And I didn't use my $500 Dyson blow, hair blow dryer. That's sad. Um, but it's, hey, I've got it if I need it. Listen, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. I will be putting more content up. I hope you like my new background, by the way. How cool is it when it's not born? Yeah. yeah. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. I think it's time for you to see Charlie again. Yep, you need to see my first son again. He makes everybody happy. Hi! Say hello! Hello!